that. Not sure why my camera stopped recording, but hopefully I won't do that again. So, as I was saying, minimal soldering, uh, if any soldering at all, I don't think there's any in this board, or this kit. They did include the capped on tape and already taped on the thermosistor for me, so awesome. Also includes in this kit a piece of borosilicate glass. So most of the kits don't include that. If they do, it's most of the time it's not borosilicate, which is a better, tougher glass. So set that aside. One kilogram blue PLA polylactic acid filament. Uh, one of the problems. Minor little cosmetic uh, seam crack, whatever you want to call it. Well, these small little bits. These are the only ones that I don't think were really, most. Most of these were labeled. The smaller parts that could not be labeled, um, like the smaller rings. Of course, they can't be. But pretty much everything else is uh, been etched with a number except this piece. This has been. And, uh, little trim plate. Wherever that goes. So, all the pieces. SD card reader. And display. Since the knob was not included, I did pick some up just for the time being so I can print one out myself. Uh, this was a problem that I did have. They are sending a replacement. They said, sorry, no problem. I have extras. No big deal. Now, with this kit, the reason why I did spend not $400 but five was, as you can see here, I have two print heads, as well as some extra nozzles. Uh, and if you guys want to follow along, I will be building, 3D printing another bracket to replace this and this to hold on. Uh, the extruder to the y-axis or x-axis I don't know what they call it in this one either way one is x one is y z is always up and down now in all fairness this was pretty much packaged like this sanguine lao board whatever you want to call that train so I'll pause. Okay, sorry about that. Now, here's the board that will be controlling this. Now this is uh, to replace the 1.4 ramps board along with the Adreno. This one board does it all. Four stepper drivers. Now one of these will be controlling the z-axis or two z-axis uh, stepper motors. I will be swapping this board out for one that can handle a second extruder head. So, more to follow. Now, everything was numbered beautifully. Um, in all fairness, this was not this neatly arranged. I did put this in order. But, as you can see, there's many washers, screws, many little parts that could get lost or be a little harder to identify and to be honest I don't want to be dealing with a bunch of little bags so we'll be putting all those items in here. In a small little organizer with multiple boxes as well as some more bigger boxes. You'll see in future videos. Now I'm, I am going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, on how to build this printer. 
out. So one of the first things, since I am in USA, I will do this since I might forget later. On here it says 110, 220. There is a small little switch. I don't know if I can point it out, but it's right in there. Now I'm just gonna take this and move it over to the 110 side. Done. For later. Now, as I said, <clears throat> all the parts were numbered, all these small bags, so that's awesome. Some bags did have multiple items, in which case you had more than one sticker. For example, here, you put 38 and 43 in the same bag, uh, no big deal. Save plastic. Alright. Some zip ties. <clears throat> uh, now, these must go together. This is the plates for the filament roller and one for the SD card board, nicely etched G Tech. This is a G Tech printer, Prusa i3. Uh, I believe this is version B. So, set that off to the side. Again, numbered. Now this I do like. What other printers always, and what just about every other single one that I've seen, they'll have three of these for the x-axis. Now that just drives me bonkers. Why can't they just include the fourth one? Oh well, this one they do. They have two for the y, the z-axis, and uh, two for the y-axis, and then four for the x-axis. assembled. Another bonus. All the wires on these stepper motors are all ready made. There's no soldering, no wiring that I can see of so far. Just gonna plug and play. Oh, it looks like uh, I am gonna have to trim the stickers for the heat sinks. Oh well, big deal. Okay, so that might be a little bit big deal for me. <laughs> uh, not too happy with the colors. Some other ones. Now, this is one bag they did not number as well. It's pretty self explanatory. If you get this wrong, you shouldn't be building one. Some spacers, probably for the boards. And one thing I did like instead of having a 3D printed bracket and bearings and 3D printed parts, they did give me little metal brackets to tension the belt with, which is awesome. You'll see that in the build process later. Nicely packaged. Everything is instead in pairs, so here's one pair, one pair, one pair, one pair. Easily identifiable. Great. Two different belts. One for X, one for Y. The end stops. And again, I don't see any soldering. There's three end stops in here. Set that up there. Now this is to keep the cable nice and tidy. That's a nice little included feature. Uh, looks like an extension cable for the Z-axis or Y-axis of some sort. And a nice cheap little screwdriver set. Everything seems to be there. Some bits fell inside. So, but this will come in handy. So, free tools. It's always a benefit. It's always a plus. Come in handy when you got to modify some and you don't want to mess up your good ones. So, we'll put this with the drivers. Gives me an USB cable, filter, and one, two, 
three four stepper motors. Not sure why they wrap the wires like that, but they won't stay like that. Yeah. Let's get a little closer up of the print head. As you can see, it is fully assembled other than that plate. That plate gets screwed on here. Uh, something like that. As you can see, the screw will go through here, print nozzle through here, and uh, done. Direct drive, high torque NEMA 17 stepper motors. Excuse me. Uh, yes, yeah, stepper motors. Nice little spring. Nice little tension on there. Like it. And filament gets fed through there. So they drilled out a stainless steel screw, it looks like. Now, in my kit, like I said, I ordered two print heads and the extra nozzles. Now, all of this is for 1.75 filament. Uh, you can always pick out three if you want. I'm planning on doing higher resolution stuff, uh, finer details, a lot of different prototyping like that. And I feel that. This 0.35 nozzle, 0.5 nozzle, and the ones in between for the 1.75 millimeter filament will do good. So, that hopefully is in the very near future. because and the glass as well it is pretty tight in there it's already pre-wired nice in the build guide uh, it is pretty well put together their English is not I will be helping correct that in the future as you can see man they have a really tiny laser beam that just it's pretty awesome how small that cuts Oh, that little piece came out. It's pretty cool. So, I'm sure that'll come in handy for something. One thing I also did like about this printer is they have acrylic ends for uh, the X axis. There's actually two layers to them. One with a hole, one without a hole, and that'll guarantee my spacing on my smooth rods. Awesome idea. And it's not a 3D printed part, so this acrylic do a better job of that. Printing table, print bed. here to do the laser etching. Very clean, very nice, nothing broken. All the parts are here. Uh, like I said, this was uh, pretty much my own issue. Kind of wish that the PLA wasn't floating through this board, but as you can see it was very well packaged. Uh, there was no problems. Best way to tell is if you just look at that transistor board or the transistors in there, they're not even bent, they're straight up and down. And then these pins are bent. So, very happy. Next video will be the build process. So, Now I'm 
gonna get started by putting all these small little bits in order right here. I will be doing something like, uh, well, not this part, but uh, for example, something with, something with a lot of parts. I'm gonna cut off the sticker and then place it inside the tray where I'm gonna have the screws in. So I won't get those mixed up. And if I got so many trays, I'm gonna try to skip one tray and put, and put the screws in every other tray so it's a little hard to get mixed up, but it's one of my little details. Um, so that's it. I'll be back in the next video. Which will be the build process. Uh, step one. Now, y'all have a good day.